thanks once again for joining me, folks, and I uh, really appreciate all the comments and all the feedback that you provide regarding the, the videos I do. And um, this time we're going to talk about Nassim Shah. Now, it's a sad state of affairs, in my opinion. Um, I feel for the lad. He must be absolutely gutted. He must be heartbroken. But this isn't just a case of another player being injured. This isn't another case of a, another player suffering some bad luck. It's a, it's a massive loss for Pakistan. It's a huge loss for such a big tournament like the World Cup for a strike bowler to be injured like this and somebody who um, was one of the main players for Pakistan. He's been in good form, he's been in good rhythm, he's been taking wickets, and he struck a fantastic partnership with Shaheen Shafidi at the start of the innings. And then, obviously, um, Harris Ralph was the, the third um, you know, component of that fast bowling partnership. So it is a massive loss for Pakistan. And... Whoever they've brought in, obviously, with all due respect to Hassan Ali and anybody else that they would have brought in to replace Nassim Shah would have been very, very difficult to uh, to replace such a bowler at this moment in time. Um, his confidence was high, and as I say, he was bowling well. He's in good shape, in good rhythm as well. But I think when you analyse the injury and when you actually look into it, you realise that player management is something that the Pakistan Cricket Board are just not doing. Or if they are doing, they're not doing a very good job of it. Because the the muscle injury that he's got, it must be a, a really bad tear, given that he's, we've been told today that he's going to be out for possibly uh, a few months. Now, that isn't just a muscle strain. That is the, uh, excuse me, I'm not a, a medical expert, but I think it's pronounced pectoralis muscle injury. That is the injury that he suffered. And um, this, if it's as badly torn as, as um, we are hearing, then he's going to be out for possibly two, three, maybe four months. Uh, so it's a horrific injury, a really bad injury. And, um, you know, that talk of him possibly being fit for the World Cup and joining the team at uh, some point in the tournament as a replacement player, rubbish. No chance of that happening at all. This isn't a new injury. This is an injury that he's previously complained about, that he's mentioned to the Pakistan Cricket Board, that he's mentioned to the uh, medical people at the Pakistan Cricket Board. He's complained about this injury previously. And to me, it looks like it's just not being handled or treated properly. It's an old injury, as I say, it's happened before and it uh, happened again at the Lanka Premier League recently. So he suffered the same injury. He complained about the injury recently. Why wasn't it treated properly? Why wasn't he called back to Pakistan and told, Nassim, you were uh, one of our jewels in the in the setup in Pakistan cricket. It's too big a loss. It's too big a risk for you to carry on playing in a T20 tournament when surely the priority has to be for him to play for his country. He suffered that injury in Sri Lanka, as I say, at the Lanka Premier League. He should have been called back the next day, back to Pakistan, so that the medical experts can look at it, can analyse the problems, can analyse the uh, issues. Instead, what's happened is he's carried on playing, not 100% at the Lanka Premier League, and then he's come back and played at the, um, the Asia Cup, and it's, it's flared up again. But this time, it's not just a minor injury and as I said before it's it's a it's a huge injury it's a bad injury but this could have been avoided if he'd been recalled from the Lanka Premier League and for the medical experts the the people at the Pakistan Cricket Board were being paid to look after these players look after the welfare and the well-being of these players to me they're just not doing their job because as I say he should have been called back from the Lanka Premier League and that injury should have been looked at and treated properly and who knows he might have been fit for the uh, fully fit for the Asia Cup and subsequently for the World Cup so it's it's just a sad state of affairs a terrible state of affairs an injury that could have been avoided another injury that could have been avoided as well and um you've got the other thing you've got to look at is this guy is carrying an injury the shoulder problem why was he given an NOC for the Lanka Premier League? He's a young man. He wants to play cricket. 
He wants to play cricket. He wants to earn money. He wants to make a living. He wants to play as much cricket as, as possible. As I say, he's fit. He's in good form. And um, he wants to play cricket wherever the opportunity presents itself. However, the Pakistan Cricket Board should have realised that this is a kid who's fragile in terms of injuries, who we've got the Asia Cup coming up and you've got the World Cup coming up. Why give him an NOC for the, the lack of Premier League? What is he going to get out of playing in that tournament? What benefit is it going to do for Pakistan Cricket? And um, look, we've reaped the rewards there you go. That's what's happened. You've given him the NOC. He's gone there carrying that injury. He's made it worse. And uh, at the Asia Cup, he's, um, he's absolutely torn that uh, muscle. And um, there you go. You know, that, that, this is the problem. This is the, the lack of foresight, the lack of planning. And um, it was inevitable this was going to happen. And um, you know, when he'd come back from the Lanka Premier League with that injury, surely they could have said, Look, if he's got this niggle, if he's got this problem, he's carrying this injury, yeah, all right. Rest him for the Asia Cup, we'll have him fit for the World Cup. You know, the Asia Cup wasn't the be-all and end-all. Surely the World Cup is more important than the Asia Cup. Why didn't they rest him for the Asia Cup? If there was even a 10% doubt, even if there was a small chance of that injury recurring without proper rest, which is what's happened, um, you know, why risk him? All these questions need to be asked of these medical experts who are supposed to be looking after the, the Pakistan players. And, uh, you know, he'll, he'll, he has to take a proportion of the blame. He has to take some blame, which I'm sure he does. I'm sure he realises that he probably shouldn't have played at the Lanka Premier League if he was honest with himself. But as I say, he's a young man. He wants to play cricket. He wants to earn a living. So if he gets the NOC from the Pakistan Cricket Board, then he's going to go out there and play. He's not. It's not going to be a case of all right, okay, no, I'll sit at home, I won't play. Even if he's got that a slight niggle, slight concern, he'll want to go out there and play. So it's up to the Pakistan Cricket Board to manage these players properly, which, in my opinion, the medical teams just are not doing. We see these mistakes being made again and again and again with. Countless number of players having to come to the UK. You know, over the years, I can remember Ahmad Azam, um, the likes of Harris Sohail and uh, Azhar Ali and many others whose names escaped me, um, have had to come to the UK and get treatment at a well-known Premier League football club. Um, this is the treatment that and the, uh, the, 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 the course of injuries and th that should have been done by the Pakistan Cricket Board and uh, the medical experts there. But instead, those guys are actually having to come to the UK to get these injuries treated properly. Now, again, this is a, another mismanagement of another player's injury, but this time at, before a key tournament, before a big tournament. And this is a young guy where the injury could have been avoided. Oh, he's, he's absolutely distraught. Uh, his dreams are shattered. He's had so much bad luck as Nassim Shah. You know, he had the fractures in his back where he was told that he might not play cricket again. Yes, he was actually told that, that your career is at risk. Um, and then sadly lost his mother. You know, he always wanted his mum to watch him live on television playing for his country. And unfortunately, and sadly, that didn't happen. And now probably the biggest tournament of his um of his career so far, he's going to miss that as well. It could have been avoided. This is really poor management. It's all right for the current PCB regime to say, oh, well, it was um, uh, the mishandling of the previous Pakistan Cricket Board regime where they were giving out NOCs to too many players, too many uh, tournaments. These players were playing in uh, every tournament under the sun. Well, I'm sorry, but you have to take responsibility for this. And this is an injury that could and should have been avoided. And um, it's, as I say, just another case of very, very poor planning, foresight and management by the medical experts at the Pakistan Cricket Board. When is this going to end? Who's actually going to take responsibility for this? Young man's career is in jeopardy, as have others been in the past as well. It's about time that there was more professionalism within the medical staff at the Pakistan Cricket Board or this is going to keep on recurring and our key players are going to keep on missing 
major tournaments, important tournaments, which affect their career and affect the country's chances of winning these tournaments. Thanks once again for watching. Take care.